It's a habit former on something that you do not want to do. You are manually overriding mRNA around your neurochemistry and GABA system to facilitate you being able to do that easier, absorb information easier, improve cognition, improve memory by changing your mind state with this nootropic. What is up everyone, it's Bruce. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's a smart sip is 1907's done in the United States. So I'm rocking Zevia. This is a sugar-free soda using Stevia as the sweetener. So it doesn't really fuck with insulin levels. Cold, these taste amazing. Warm, you know, you definitely feel like you're drinking some bullshit, but very on point. Today is an introduction education meeting. I don't have like a full layout of Selenc. I'm not really into nootropics over here. Obviously my past year of having brain damage, I was pushed into learning about 9-MeBC and base level neurochemistry. I was really over in the synthetic androgen world, dragged over here. Selenc is one of the few nootropics that I've used for over five years. So everyone asks me what nootropics you recommend. Have you tried modafinil, blah, 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 you know, the Nuopept. I've used Nuopept. I've never tried modafinil. When I was a programmer studying information systems in college, I would use Adderall. You know, I was always like, nothing really makes up for Adderall. Adderall causes a shit ton of side effects. It's fucking horrible for you. Personality disorders, everything in between with Adderall. So I'm just saying like, it's like I just jumped straight to Adderall when I was using brain drugs and frying my brain with Adderall. Selenc was developed at the Russian Institute of Molecular Genetics as a kind of like a super soldier brain drug, in my opinion. And it's shown a lot of promise over the years in the underground atropic brain brain drug market and I wanted to showcase exactly my thoughts and use cases with Selenc and I am currently using Selenc these days right now and I have used it ever since I was like 19 years old I've been using Selenc. Selenc is one of these ones where I feel comfortable sharing this one with you guys. There's not any wild side effects. It's very mild and if you understand well I'm going to show you how to use it strategically I feel like you could change variables in your neurochem around activities you do not want to do. So I wanted to feature this study which I'm going to have Andrew throw up where it shows out of 77 genes 45 genes showed changes in mRNA level after an hour or three hours of Selenc administration. You cannot inject Selenc. Selenc needs to be through nasal administration. So I do have a plug on my source list. If you Google Ryan Russo source list, there is a plug for Selenc nasal spray, but I do two sprays each nostril and that is how I get my administration right? I would not inject it. It is sold in peptide format. Get the nasal spray. There are companies that make nasal sprays. Do it like that. So I wanted to show what it's acting upon. This is going to be completely different each person because that's how different and individualized neurochemistry is of each person. Basically, there are people who are wired different. There are people who are different in different mind states, but you can see correlations between the GABA A receptor epsilon, the gamma abutric acid GABA receptor theta, D1A dopamine receptor, D2, D3, D5, the serotonin receptor 3A, calcium channels, GABA transporter channels, essentially acting almost like a benzo without the addiction properties and the sedation properties of a benzo, in my opinion, and you're acting upon the serotonin system as well as the dopamine system but GABA being the primary one like I said this is an intro you can feel free to dig into this I don't really like I can state all this data but at the end of the day me and you you watching on the other side of the screen have different neurochemistries I can't guarantee what will happen at all. I can't correlate finitely because everyone's at different set point variables. Anyways, I'm just saying it's acting upon the GABA receptors. It's acting upon how GABA is made. It is acting upon serotonin it is acting upon the dopamine receptors. These are all being tweaked 
mRNA style for extended period of time. In my opinion, Solang for me lasts around 40 minutes. Might be longer, might be less for you. When I would inject it, it would only last like 15 minutes. That's why I'm saying like the nasal spray is a lot better administration personally that I've fucked around with. And this study showcases that some of these genes stay locked differently three hours after Solank administration. The thing I'm going to go into with Solank is you could reprogram your brain to enjoy certain activities, and this could be used to combat ADHD problems. So I personally suffer from ADHD really bad. It's been there for my entire life, and it has always been a struggle to sit down down, calm my mind, study, except if I'm programming because I'm like fidgeting programming constantly. That's why I became so good at programming. It's kind of funny that if I'm reading a book rapidly or I'm programming rapidly, it's fine. If I have to sit and analyze, that's where my ADHD kicks in. And that's where I get real fidgety. I have to move. Like for me to study, I normally take breaks after 20 minutes. Like I'll go walk around, come back. I am not one of those ace pupil scholar dudes who can sit there locked in for hours. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. What I'm saying is when you get these reactions to like, let's say doing homework, like when you do homework, you're thinking in your head, oh, I don't want to do that homework. The dopamine lowers, the serotonin lowers, the GABA system. You're anxious about the homework. It's going in the opposite direction with Selank you could override that and cause an adaptation change via RNA around your mind state doing the homework. Meaning you could teach yourself in quotation marks to fall in love with doing homework, actually finitely changing your mRNA around these attributes of the neurochemistry, thus resulting in you actually being able to comprehend more, have less ADHD symptoms doing it, and overall be in a much better mind state for studying in a 40-ish minute window. I think 25 to 50 minutes is what you can expect. But this is the kicker with Selenk. I think that these changes can be permanent, meaning, okay, I have to do homework. First day before Selenk, I fucking hate the homework. I don't have any dopamine reaction. I'm anxious about the homework. Maybe I don't know the homework or I feel like I can't complete the homework for whatever reason aka my GABA system is working against me to sit down and actually be relaxed and do it. And then serotonin, I have no love or affection for this homework. All these variables are going against me actually completing it. Cross that with ADHD, I'm making up every single excuse until I'm hyper fixated under extreme amounts of pressure to finish the homework with a minuscule amount of time left when I could have did it over a long period of time, but instead I only hyper focused and condensed it under extreme pressure, getting it done in 20 minutes. I've done this with papers multiple times where I've written a multi-page paper before AI in like 20, 30 minutes when I had all day to do it and I was putting off, I was anxious to my ADHD. If I would sit down, stare at the homework, two sprays of Solank, four sprays of Solank each nostril, it would recalibrate my brain, raise dopamine, interfere with serotonin raising it, and then activate the GABA system almost like a benzo, which would put me in a relaxed state, raise my serotonin, and raise my dopamine reward system right as I'm staring at the homework. Meaning, if I would repeat this step over and over with Selenk, eventually, in my opinion, your brain would make variable markers on when you redo your homework, and those changes would occur mRNA style without the Selenk meaning you could fall in love with studying by hard drilling this drug into your system, which is recalibrating your brain the minute you sit down to do the homework, thus resulting in a new pattern change that your brain picks up on, meaning when you run out of Solank, when you sit down, you're still gonna notice these changes because it's anticipating that and changing automatically. 
If you had real control over your emotions, your ADHD, you could probably mentally place yourself in that mind state. But in today's day and age with technology and all these distractions, you know, I see Solank really overriding the don't look at your phone, override it. Oh, I'm getting a dopamine serotonin kick out of looking at this paper. Oh, the GABA system, I'm all relaxed. I don't even want to look at my phone. Let's look at this. Like that's literally what happens in 20 minutes doing it. And then it dissipates within an hour and a half, in my opinion, very, very like low risk factor, in my opinion, compared to other nootropics and like Manafinil. People love Manafinil. I asked like my followers on Instagram at Russo Lifts, hey, I've never done Manafinil. Heard it's the limitless drug. What do I want? You know, should I do it? What do I want to do with it? and then I'll get DMs of horror stories. Never gotten a horror story DM over Solank. I've used Solank for five years straight, and overall, I see it as a great tool to relax yourself and get shit done and form a habit. It's a habit former on something that you do not want to do you are manually overriding mRNA around your neurochemistry and GABA system to facilitate you being able to do that easier, absorb information easier, improve cognition, improve memory by changing your mind state with this nootropic. The last thing I'll say is you could use it before the gym to make yourself fall in love with your gym workouts more. Meaning if you're one of those guys where it's a struggle to actually just get to the gym and then you have anxiety in the car before you go into the gym, you don't wanna go into the gym, that is an override. Solank is a really cool little nootropic. I have tons of experience with it. I feel comfortable making this video. I did not feel comfortable making the 9MEBC video because of all the side effects, but the side effect profile is extremely low of Solank. Get the nasal spray, don't inject it. I will see you guys in my next video.